tough to watch. I want to come down and support my boy AB, man. I want to see him, uh, you know, come out with a victory tonight. But like I said, I mean, he was off for a while. Um, you know, I think he's made the fight a lot harder than it was supposed to be. Um, you know, probably not just letting his hand. I don't know. I feel like, honestly, man, you know, AB is just a show of himself at this point right now, man. You know, I love watching AB, though. You know, but it's just, it's not the same AB that I grew up watching, like, man. Um, I still like. Professional boxers have been out in their numbers to comment on the fight between Adrian Bronner and Blair Cobbs. And as you'd expect, many of them are calling for his retirement already. Blair Cobbs handed Adrian Bronner a unanimous decision loss in a welterweight collision at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. Bronner did not look good from the opening. He was hesitant to pull the trigger on punches in the first round and looked much less interested in the fight than his opponent. That lackadaisical approach didn't help him in the second round when Cobbs floored him with a vicious left hand. Bronner was able to survive the round, but not without losing a tooth. Bronner was able to make a full recovery, but he looked like a shell of his former self. Cobbs was the much busier fighter, and Bronner looked slow when he actually did throw punches. Big shot, that was a Perfect luck, and did you say? Former welterweight Sean Porter weighed in on Broner's lack of activity, noting that he has typically leaned on his counterpunching throughout his career. Broner did have a few brief exchanges in the 7th, 8th, and 9th rounds that showed some signs of life, but they were not even close to enough to label it a competitive fight. Ultimately, it was a surprise that Cobbs couldn't get the finish. The bout was Broner's first in nearly a year. He beat Bill Hutchinson in a convincing, unanimous decision nearly a year ago. That broke a layoff that spanned all of 2022. Broner, 34, has not been in the ring much since losing a 2019 world title fight against Manny Pacquiao. Broner's multiple legal issues have derailed a career that had some strong moments, but carried even more promise. 
Bronner is a four division champion with titles in the super featherweight, lightweight, light welterweight, and welterweight weight classes. His career has included wins over Pauli Malignaghi, Khabib Alakverdiev, and Antonio DeMarco. He also had fights against Pacquiao, Sean Porter, and Marcos Maidana, dropping decisions against all three of them. The loss to Cobbs might signal the end of Broner's up and down career. Ahead of the fight, he seemed to admit that his time was wearing thin in boxing. My children motivate me, but this last run is for me, Broner said, per Thomas Gerbasi of Boxing Scene. I did everything for everybody else, so this last run is for me. In an era of crossover boxing and influencer fights, retirement is always a fluid decision. Broner's brash personality and ability to sell a fight could certainly hold opportunities down the road, but his days of contending for any serious title appear to be over. Former welterweight champion Andre Beto was present by the ringside, and after the fight, he confirmed AB had broken his hand and gone to the hospital. That leaves Adrian Broner with a broken hand and tooth. Andre Beto was obviously present to support Adrian Broner, and the defeat surely left him so disappointed, like the rappers who came for Broner's sake. It was tough to watch. I wanted to come down and support my boy. I wanted to see him come out with a victory tonight. But like I said, he was off for a while. I think he just made the fight a lot harder than it was supposed to be. It's tough to watch. I wanted to come down and support my boy AB, man. I wanted to see him uh, you know, come out with a victory tonight. But like I said, I mean, he was off for a while. Um, you know, I think he's made the fight a lot harder. Afterwards, he announced the news of Bronner's injury claiming he was just coming out of the dressing room and Adrian Bronner wasn't looking too good. Blair Cobbs had told him it was time to leave the sport. The ring said the same, his tooth said the same, and now his hand is getting him ready to leave the sport. I just left the dressing room. I think he broke his hand, so he's going to be on his way to the hospital. But that's the fight game. How hard it was supposed to be, um, you know, probably not just letting his hands go enough. But like I said, I just left the dressing room. I think he broke his hand, so he's going to be on his way to the hospital. But um, yeah, it's a fight game, man. It's a fight game. Regardless of the disappointment, Andre Berto claimed he was proud of Bronner's ability to defy all odds and make it to the ring again. He's the person that has given us tremendous fights for a lot of years, and the last two years were kind of tough for him. Everybody knows he had a long span off, and he's battled with a lot of issues. I was surprised that he was able to be strong enough to go through a camp and come back and fight. I'm proud of him regardless. But like I said, he's lost just how he wants to take it. He has to reevaluate the situation. Also, Andre Berto was asked about what this meant to Adrian Broner. If it was a retirement and the final way the sport of boxing bids him goodbye. Expectedly, Berto didn't commit too much with his statements, claiming that was Adrian Broner's decision to make if he wanted a retirement or not. That's his decision. There's one thing about this fight game. You try to stay around too long, and if you don't take it as seriously as you should, it won't love you back. So I think he has to sit firm. If he wants to have this fight, he has to be down and get back, train like he needs to, and be as healthy as possible just to come right back, or if he wants to do some stuff around with it, it won't go well enough. He's a person that has given us tremendous fights for a lot of years, and, uh, and the like, last few years have been kind of tough for him, you know, as everybody knows. You know, he had a long span off, and of course, he's battling a lot of other, you know, issues. Talking after the fight, American professional boxer and former winner of Ring Magazine Prospect of the Year Award, Bruce Carrington said, I feel like, honestly, man, AB is just a shadow of himself at this point right now. I love watching AB, but he's not the same AB that I grew up watching. I still, like, follow him to see his and all of that. I feel like, honestly, man, you know, AB is just a shadow of himself at this point. You know, I love watching AB though, you know, but it's just, it's not the same AB that I love watching, like, man, um, I still like following him, seeing his antics and all that, but, you know what I'm saying, I don't know, man. Probably the biggest fighter to be present at the ringside, Teofimo Lopez also shared his feelings regarding the fight once it was over. Oh, we gotta get it. I'm blessed and highly favored. Congratulations, great win. Thank you, thank you very much, and that's a hint to the next fight. Whoa, Other celebrities were present, but considering Adrian Broner's close ties with rappers, he had more top musicians than top boxers show up for the fight. When asked about the fight, Teofimo Lopez quickly quipped, That's boxing! Just really quick, reaction to that fight, what do you think? Uh, that's boxing! And you think a the end of the row for AB? 
A close ally of Adrian Bronner, G. Herbo, was also ringside, and once the fight was over, he was questioned on what he felt about the outcome of the fight. He said, They are cheating! They cheated us! Man, that stuff is pissing me off! Afterwards, he was asked if he felt Adrian Bronner was done as many are now claiming, or he still had some hope in his friend's career. Before he could respond, an annoyed fan jumped onto the camera and whipped, He's done! There you go, that's all I want to know. It's KG with Fight Heights. <laughs> Were you surprised at that knockdown? One of those who would be so disappointed in Bronner's performance is Calvin Ford, the trainer of Gervonta Davis, who only decided to train Adrian Bronner because Gervonta Davis Har invited him to their camp. One of the reporters asked Calvin Ford about Adrian Bronner's training camp, and he responded, my thoughts is that he's doing what we need him to do. Um, I'm seeing the transition. I'm seeing a glimpse of what I used to watch when I was on TV when he was on TV and stuff, said Ford. According to the trainer, almost everyone had given up on the problem. But the fact remains that he never went anywhere, Ford said. But he's still here. So he has a mission that has not been completed yet. So this opportunity that Don gave to him, he gets to show the world that he never left. Another reporter checked whether Davis and Bronner were happy to be collaborating together in the camp. Ford replied that he could see Tank paying back for all the favors and help he received from Bronner. So in many ways, he stressed, their roles have changed since how they used to be earlier. The roles changed. It's like Tank the big brother, Bronner the little brother. But they both even because again, that's showing the respect of the levels before and then after. You know, so it's a good thing. I thought that, that was a big deal. You know, even with ring rust and all, I look pretty good. And now it's time to get out there to go and look even better at the next fight. I have a tremendous camp. Shout out to everybody that was in my camp. And that's all for now. For the very best updates on news, moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing, stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to turn on notifications to get notified when we drop quality contents like this. Until next time, peace out.